the men of 228. <laughs> Every parade, every year. How do you get better looking? I don't know. I try. Way to go, Cub! Give it up, Cub! I'll send you these pictures. All right, there we go. Mr. Daly, looking sharp. Mr. Pond! Okay, boys, I think we'll uh, we'll come right over here in front of the monument. Sideways. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, good morning, good morning. Good morning. My name is Vincent DiMella. I am a Somers resident, member of the Somers Lions Club, and a member of the Somers Chamber of Commerce. I will be your MC for today, and thank you all for coming. Welcome uh, to the Somers Veterans Day Parade. Um, I'd like to take this moment to thank each and every veteran that has served our country faithfully. I'm honored and proud to be here today to recognize and speak to the accomplishments of the men and women of our armed forces. So can we please give them all a round of applause right now? I'd like to start off with a story uh, about an 18-year-old man uh, in the 1960s from White Plains, New York, who enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. 
He was in charge of stopping ships in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean in search for nuclear warheads. He was involved in the Bay of Pigs as well as the Cuban blockade. That man's name is Arthur DeMella, and that's my father. Uh, thank you so much for your service. Dad, love you, and Semper Fi. Okay. Again, thanks for coming today. Um, I'd like to recognize our distinguished guests, Town Supervisor Rick Morrissey, Town Councilman Anthony Sirico, Bill Faulkner, Supervisor-elect uh, Robert Scarano, former Supervisor Mary Beth Murphy, Tax Receiver Michelle Kay, and all who marched today, uh, the Somers Volunteer Department, Leo's, uh, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, Father Breslin, uh, Reverend Watson and Rabbi Lease here today for us. And, and please stand for our national anthem to be sung by our Somers Middle School students, Maria Burwa, Alexa Ernst, Allison Giron Ruiz, Sophia Kluhertz, Nova Labus, Navia Manipatanda, and Morgan Shabanos. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you. Uh, Father Mike Watson, if you please, we'll be doing our invocation. Let us pray together. Holy and gracious God, we thank you for the beauty of this day, for the beauty of this town, its people, and its leaders, Rick, Thomas, Anthony, Richard, and William. On this day particularly, we celebrate and give thanks for your care of us, for providing to us protection from those who would do us harm, knowing that we often are most blessed by those whom we may not even know, but who give of themselves in every generation to assure that we are safe, that we are free, and that you always will be with us. Those who have gone before us who slept in foxholes so that we could sleep in comfort Grant today that we recognize our privilege, that we understand that you are the source of all that is good, all that is holy, and all that makes us well. Let us always turn to you with our needs and praise you for what we have been given, and most especially on this day, honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice of their own lives so that we might live another day. Let us now turn our, to our own neighbors in their need recognize your face in each of them and join with you in your desire to make all of us whole by serving one another in the unity given to us by your grace. We ask all this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Now I'd like to welcome up to the podium uh, Rabbi Shoshana Lace. People of Somers, it's a beautiful day. It's a glorious day. It's a joy and an honor to stand here. Councilmen and women, police officers, firefighters, 
holy teachers who day after day have served our children, essential workers, you who give and risk day in and day out during this pandemic. And of course, those of you who served and serve our great country, people of all ethnicities and backgrounds, indigenous people, all who have served, thank you. Thank you for your service today and every day. May you and your families be blessed with goodness, with joy, love, safety, sharing of your wisdom and your experience, listening, reflection, community building. You are a gift to our community, to our country, and to all humanity. May you be given all that you need to continue to be well and to keep our citizens and all who dwell in this land safe and thriving, free to uphold our core values that we share compassion, justice, generosity, truth, freedom, and independence. We are one community, one family, united against all enemies, including COVID, and we hold dear our common ground. As we do every week at Hebrew Congregation of Somers, I offer you a poem and a prayer. This is a poem by Marge Piercy, To Be of Use. The people I love the best jump into work head first without dallying in the shallows and swim off with sure strokes almost out of sight. They seem to be natives of that element, the black sleek heads of seals bouncing like half-submerged balls. I love people who harness themselves, an ox to a heavy cart, who pull like water buffalo with massive patience, who strain in the mud and the muck to move things forward, who do what has to be done again and again. I want to be with people who submerge in the task, who go into the fields to harvest and work in a row and pass the bags along, who are not parlor generals and field deserters, but move in a common rhythm when the food must come in or the fire be put out. The work of the world is common as mud. Botched, it smears the hands, crumbles to dust. But the thing worth doing well done has a shape that satisfies, clean and evident. Greek amphoras for wine or oil, Hopi vases that held corn are put in museums, but you know they were made to be used. The pitcher cries for water to carry and a person for work that is real. Thank you for doing work that is real. We bless you, and we are so grateful. And let us all say, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Elise. And now, uh, please welcome Supervisor Morrissey. Thank you, Vince. Well, I'll tell you, it's great to see you all after about two years of not having a parade. So give yourselves a hand for coming out today. So I want to welcome you all here because we all are one community here. No matter what our, our stances, our political stances, um, we are all one community in the town of Somers. Uh, I would like to first thank you for coming out today and to honor and celebrate our veterans. For without their efforts, we wouldn't be standing here today. So when we speak of community, we speak of community groups, and many of them are, are represented here today, and we thank you all for coming out. Uh, special mention I want to give to the uh, Somers Lions Club for taking on the responsibility of continuing the Veterans Day Parade, and especially Kate O'Keefe for all her work pulling this together over the last couple of years. Thank you, Kate. So I know we've, um, we've mentioned our elected officials, but I would like to recognize them myself. So we have town judges Dennis Timone and Mike McDermott with us. We have town clerk Patty Calba, receiver of taxes Michelle McKerney, superintendent of highways Nick DeVito, our town board, Tom Garrity, Rich Clinchy, Anthony Sirico, Bill Faulkner, and Assemblyman Kevin Burns. So it's Happy Veterans Day to the men and women of our community and throughout America 
who have served our nation. Today is when we honor those heroes and remember that no matter what our differences, we are all Americans. We stand in the midst of patriots, the families and friends of those who have nobly served. Thank you for answering the call to duty. You have made our armed forces one of the most respected in the world. Since the first shots at Lexington and Concord, we, we fired and, and our Revolutionary War began. American men and women have been answering the nation's call to duty. Your presence here today and of people gathering all across America is a tribute to those lost troops and to their families. It is a way to say we remember. People throughout the country will gather together today to remember and honor and pay gratitude to the, those who have served our country. One of my favorite quotes and words to live by were spoken by John Fitzgerald Kennedy. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Our, vet, our veterans did just that. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. Uh, I would like to just state that it's been an honor and a privilege to serve as your town supervisor for the last eight years. And I want to uh, express my sincere gratitude to the community for, uh, for, for having me as your supervisor and getting you through this uh, worldwide pandemic, hopefully in a better place than, than we were before. Uh, I want to God bless our troops, the town of Somers, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Morrissey. Great job. So today marks the uh, 100th anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. For 100 years, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier had served at the heart of the Arlington National Cemetery as a sacred memorial site and grave of three unknown American service members. The tomb connects visitors with the legacy of the United States Armed Forces throughout the nation's history. It stands as a people's memorial that inspires reflection on service, valor, sacrifice, and mourning. Since November 11th, 1921, the tomb has provided a final resting place for one of America's unidentified World War I service members and unknowns from later wars that were added in 1958 and 1984. Throughout 2021, Arlington National Cemetery is holding a series of commemorative events and exhibits and ceremonies that will culminate on November 11th today in conjunction with National Veterans Day observance. So I welcome you to join us in the commemoration of the centennial of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And now we will have our wreath laying ceremony. Thank you all for the uh, wreath laying ceremony here in uh, Immendel Cemetery uh, here in the town of Somers. And we're proud of the name of the town of Somers, which was actually named for a veteran, uh, Richard Somers, who was in the Navy and had fought overseas in Tripoli. So, uh, And now we will have the, uh, the fifth New York that will conduct our three-gun salute.
Thank you, Fifth New York. As a reminder, I'd just like for everyone to join us, Somers Lions, in, uh, in supporting our local veterans and remember that their health is, and, and their well-being is, is of the utmost importance. Um, mental health is a very big issue today. Uh, we cannot allow any of our veterans, any of our brothers and sisters, to suffer from mental health issues. Um, so if any of you know of any veteran that is suffering from any mental illness or health issues whatsoever, please contact myself, Kate O'Keefe, anyone at the Somers Lines, uh, in helping to, uh, to seek help for those individuals. And before our closing prayer, um, I'd like to ask for every one of us to, to join us for refreshments at the Elephant Hotel. We actually have a, a, a UV air system set up there to prevent against any COVID uh, infections or, or what have you. So it is a very safe space. So I, I would like for everyone to come and, and greet our veterans and thank them for their service. There will be refreshments there as well. So um, I would like to ask Father Breslin to come up here for our closing prayer. And thank you again. Thank you all for coming. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we come to you today in thanksgiving for all those men and women who have so courageously laid down their lives for the protection of this great nation. Today we honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you, Lord, will bless them for their unselfish service in the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they faced and for the sacrifices they made for their many different contributions to America's victories over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, we thank them, we honor them, we are proud of them, and we pray that you will watch over these men and women and bless them with peace and happiness. We ask that this nation may continue to be a place where all your children may dwell safely and securely, and may this nation direct every action towards love of you and of neighbor. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father Breslin. And I would just like to have one more big Somers Tusker round of applause for Kate O'Keefe for setting up today. Thank you again, Kate. Great job. God bless Somers and God bless America. Thank you.